what up guys and welcome back to another one today uh today is the start of duck season prep today we're kicking it off with uh running out to my duck lease it's uh the little body of water a lot of you guys seen it last year i did a couple solo hunts on it it's just my little solo duck lease i think the biggest hunt we did on it was i don't know probably a three man but the field that butts up to it that's where we actually do a lot of big goose hunts and a lot of big duck hunts on fields with big spreads so anyways we're running out there i haven't got to look at it all summer long i have no idea what it's all planted into what the fields planted into what the south fields planted into uh what the weeds look in the water that's my biggest concern uh so today we're gonna go scope out uh what everything is planted around there gotta see how that's going I, i'm assuming the main field is gonna be beans the last two to three years it's been beans i don't think the farmer ever changes that which is fine um but the main concern like i said is the weeds 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 last year uh i was able to clear an abundance of weeds out with the quad a lot of you guys seen that um just running them over tons of weeds uh so this year i actually want to cut them out get them out of there uh well before the season uh have a lot more open water that's what we need this year there was too many weeds too much structure in and close to the water it just it made it tight it was uncomfortable for the ducks to roost there or to be there or just to land there they didn't want to because there was too much tall structure of weedville everywhere i mean everywhere so we're gonna see how and what it might take to manage that issue this year because i'm sure they're out of control Ooh, doggy i think she's gonna be extra full of water that's what it's looking like but real quick before we get into today's video check out the new ducks t-shirt of the month this is the august ducks t-shirt of the month an old yellow lab looking like Frederick. Oh yeah, with a mallard in its mouth. That's what's up. That's what the season's all about, right? <laughs> but if you guys want to subscribe for the August t-shirt of the month or for the Ducks t-shirt in general, every t-shirt's only $14.99. You actually save $10 per t-shirt and they arrive in your mailbox once a month, every single month. I will link the Ducks t-shirt of the month at the top of the description. Go check it out. Oh yeah. Oh heck yeah. Well, that's good news. <laughs> Check this out. Well, that's a first right there. Check this out. So this half of the field will actually be planted wheat come winter time. And look what we got here. This is the first time that my duck lease has ever had planted corn. <laughs> corn against wheat? Oh goodness. December and January is gonna get wild here. Oh boy. But we got about a half mile walk into the water. I gotta pull down the road about another three, four hundred yards. <sighs> got the Crocs on, that's all today, boys. I'm a little underprepared, just a little. I need the muck boots and I need some pants. <laughs> but I just wanted to kick this video off. I wanna see I wanna see what all it's gonna take to get uh the duck hole all prepared, all prepped up. Well, actually able to drive in here. We haven't had rain in quite some time. I can tell you what, I'm already seeing a lot of dove come off the edge of this corn. It's gonna be a heck of a dove spot come September 1st. This is what's nice about Kansas. Um, our moisture, it's only abundant in the spring. Actually, this past spring, it was, it was, it was heavy. We got a lot of moisture. But one good thing about Kansas is a lot of times you can drive into the fields. You can tell where we're at here. This is just grass. Just filled grass. Hasn't even been planted yet. But I have this field, the corn, and then what's going to be planted wheat. It's all part of the duck lease. Well, check this out. We're out here at the duck hole. It's over yonder. We'll get to it in a minute. But you can tell he planted the corn around where it was wet up in here. So this looks like it's going to be holding water if we get some good rain. This corn is planted close, close to the water too. I mean real close. This is going to be really good. But see, here is the issue right here. Here's the edge of the corn, and then right there is the edge of the water. 
So all these weeds, this is what I'm talking about. All these weeds right here need to be mowed down. That means I need a, I, I basically need a tractor with a bush hog behind it. <laughs> Look at all the teal that just got up, boys. Oh, oh, I knew it. I knew we were gonna have birds out here. There's more. There's more teal in here. Oh boy, look at them. The duck hole is gonna be producing. Look. <laughs> oh, this is killer. Well, check it out. I left my old creek cooler in here. I was wondering what happened to that thing. I forgot it out here, darn it. But uh, seeing that many ducks on it already. They're already comfy staying here. Last year, all them weeds, them dark weeds over there, they're all dead now, thank goodness, because now it's been holding water. See, this used to be really bad weeds like those, and then we had a lot of rain, which, which flooded all them bad weeds. Now that it's actually held water, now we are actually gonna have some good cattail action instead of the bad weeds. But, big but, this little patch here, this whole dike system right here, all this, I want to get mowed and gone. So the bank transitions to planted ground. That way with that corn back there, geese, lots of ducks, maybe even some snows, will want to roost here. They'll want to use the body of water and feed right there, especially when it gets really cold. I'm planning on putting an ice eater in here once it actually gets really cold to hold so with a corn field right there, cut corn, water, open water because of the ice eater, you catch my drift, you catch my drift. But it's actually looking way better. And I mean way better than I thought it would be. Especially with the ducks on here already. So we need to bring out a mower and we need to mow this, all this down right here. I'm gonna keep the patch of cattails there for sure. And anything else I can mow without having to get in the water think that's what we're gonna do well we better go ahead and grab this bad boy that cracks me up I remember the day I left this creek cooler out here it was like I don't know it's probably only like 13 degrees and uh, it had just rained it was real moist real moist day couldn't drive my truck in could barely drive the quad in and I was like I can't feel my hands I can't feel my feet you're just gonna stay here and I'll come back and get you <laughs> But uh, I'm actually really excited, really happy. Um, I'm, I don't know how much water we really got in here. Um, I'm hoping it's enough to hold. I hope it don't go dry on me. That's the biggest scare. I don't think it will, especially if we start getting a little bit of moisture, it'll definitely hold. But right now, if we, if we remain dry like we have been, uh, we've been extra dry lately. We've got a little spurt of rain here and there but nothing abundant. We need an abundance to fill that bad boy back up and I won't worry at all. <laughs> but you guys need to be getting out there, go scouting, especially all you guys that uh, just public land hunt. You know me, I do a lot of public land hunting. That's all I've done up until I started getting permission on private stuff and having my own duck leases a handful of years ago. Believe you me, we're gonna do some public land scouting coming up in the next couple weeks. So, get out there, look at your bodies of water, because I guarantee you, if you guys got near as much rain as we did, a lot of stuff has changed. Your old spots that you are going to last year may not even be there. They may be overgrown. There may not even be water there. So, go check them out. Well, it is the next day, and today I was prepared. I was gonna go out with the old weed whacker because that's about all I could find. I need a pull behind mower, like one of those Swisher style mowers that I can pull behind the ATV. I don't have one. I went to go buy one. They're like $1,500. Yeah, you catch my drift. I was like, no, no sir. And so I was like, you know what? I don't have a pull behind mower, so I'll just at least go out and, I'll just at least go out and give it a good old whacking, you know? Yeah, well, it has rained literally all day. Now it's nice and sunny and bright, but 
I don't have the time to go do it today because your boy is headed to the game fair up in Ramsey, Minnesota for the entire weekend. So this video is going up Friday. I will be at the game fair Friday and Saturday at the Dive Bomb Industries booth. That is where your boy will be with the big old Sherp. You know how it goes. If you're around the area though, stop in, say what's up. Come say hi to your boy. I would love to meet each and every one of you if I could. But y'all gotta let me know down in the comments section are you guys ready? You guys ready for this? You guys ready to do some uh, decoy prepping? Oh yeah. Your boy is ready. I got a lot of stuff to do. I gotta organize all these decoys, all of them. There's probably a good 60 dozen dive bombs there. We got laydown blinds that are just absolutely wrecked. We got shells all over the place, yeah. And we got a lot of new decoys we need to get ready. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So if you guys wanna see any of those videos, you gotta drop a comment down below and let me know exactly what you guys wanna see. But remember, every time you guys purchase something from duckswaterfowl.com, it goes directly to supporting your boy and helping me bring you guys more videos, just like this one. We will be having a lot of dope hats drop though, probably around the August 24th area, somewhere around there. I'll let y'all know. But if you guys like this video, smash that thumbs up for your boy. And subscribe if you haven't because the duck hunting season is almost upon us and I couldn't be more excited. But thank y'all for being here. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that keeps it real.